update. So it's been a hot minute since I've been at this location. And last time I was, I think it was two days ago. And they had a small, but a, a pretty good shipment. So I wonder if they, I think they did. Okay, I keep looking out because like, I don't want to, usually I always review, but I want to see like first impressions. Okay. Okay. Also, this AC is like literally hitting these plants, like what the F. Pretty, some Brazils. Small plants. The usual. Because even then, you guys, like whenever they have any shipments, a lot of the plants don't even get a chance to go to the, um, on display because <laughs> people take them from the boxes as they should, you know? Because, like, this pamphlet just died. <gasps> Look, things in the me. Okay, it's just some really cute begonias. And it's probably the same from the bottom. Like, I swear it's probably already open. Wait, it's not? Well, not yet. <laughs> okay, they have some trends. These are some air plants. Oh, some baskets in this one. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna open that one up. So usually I don't think it's a problem whenever you open the, the boxes as long as you don't like make a mess and you take everything out That's when it gets a problem because then they, they gotta go and organize it Which is a pain in the booty to do but Yeah, so not that insane of a shipment, but it's still <gasps> I see the Calatheas, Calatheas Dotties Oh, I see another Calathea You guys, it's with, their, with the new cute pots also, my Global Green has been doing super good, and like, sorry, I'm like burping. <laughs> I had like a sparkling water, um, and I want another one, and this looks really good. Except like those yellow spots, which I'm not even sure what that is, but it looks like fungal. Oh my god, they have these. I just got one of these, I mean, not just got it, it was a while back. But for $12.98, cute. This is called Star Beauty. And it's just Calathea. But I'm pretty sure Star Beauty. Oh, pardon, I'm sorry. Um, they got. So, oh, wait, Pink Star? So these were um, Dotty. No, wait, okay. She's kind of cute though. But she, I don't know, like, there are so many Calathea's that like, have this kind of pattern and like colors, which is so difficult to like differentiate. <laughs> you know, like a. Um, what do you call it? A Calithia expert, but that's not me. <laughs> I just love them, but I'm not really that good. They also have that massive, like, hold on. So they have this. Oh, look again. Oh, sorry. Like, you guys, I just woke up. <laughs> I just woke up. And um, I want to see what they had. Dude, I love these rubber trees so freaking much. They're so freaking cute. But they have the massive Spectitalium. And I'm so tempted, tempted to take one. It's for $60. And these massive coin plants, you guys, these are so freaking huge. Um, mine's kind of like finicky, as in like, I never ever water mine. So unless you have really, really good light, then don't water yours too often, especially when they have this kind of um, mixture. It's like very like, retains a lot of moisture. And my coin plant doesn't like that at all. But these are only $65. And they're huge, they're like six feet, y'all. They have these really cute fiddles. I love how like they're like, do y'all see that? Like the structure of it. Like a little branch moment. How much is it? $120. But like, look at that. Do y'all see that? <laughs> that is gorgeous. Um, by the way, I wanna show you guys this stuff is Captain Jack's. And I already finished mine. So I might get a new one. I got this one. Kills, bug worms, all that stuff. And then they have another version that's um, neem oil, which I'm so interested to try. It doesn't kill many bugs, but it says it kills um, controls, black spots, poverty, mildew, rust, spider mites, aphids, wat flies, and other insect pests. So, yes, kills eggs, larvas, and adult stages of insects. I like neem oil a lot better, but this one has helped me a lot with um, spider mites. Like, it literally sort of kills spider mites. I feel like it kills adult spider mites, so not the eggs. You gotta keep on spraying like constantly so you can break the cycle. 
but I literally hide I'm gonna get another one because I really love this it saved one of my Kalatias and I'm gonna keep on trying now obviously it's not just that it's like you also gotta be like oh I see more global greens you also gotta be um like you know doing it constantly and like you know just oh my god these are so freaking cute like the variegation is a lot better on these oh my god these are cute and they have so many of course they have the golden goddess philodendron as well she is beautiful um some really really fun snake plants i love snake plants you guys these are for 15 dollars if you don't have one get one you just need to have one so i think this also really really fun one um i treated like a snake plant like a succulent i let it dry out and then i top water it but it's gorgeous I just, I don't know where to start. Yes, I want to open that box, to be honest. The hanging basket one. Because I think it's from the um, Urban Jungle. And they be having some good stuff. Also, Life Trends, their hanging pots. They're, like, really, really fun. So, let me go set up the ball. Give me a second. Wait. I think I see an employee. Like, I cannot be the only one. It feels illegal whenever you do this. Um, can I see what's in this box? On the little flat box? Is that okay? Yeah. Is that cool? Awesome. Thank you so much. plants because like it says oh my god i'm so i thought it said hanging basket <sighs> okay i feel so okay I, I put some dirt in my eyes that's what i get for being stupid ass um it's literally just plant stands i'm so dumb it's okay though i'm gonna put it all back together because like i don't want to be messy <sighs> these are so freaking cute you guys look at these glitter portfolios beautiful 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 they have this one as glass and like i said I think these are the same ones um this one's already open hold on it's like kind of like low-key messy yeah you'll need to take care of just lows like we cannot leave a mess hold on okay thank you for waiting <laughs> this is a really cute begonia though because like Lowe's is a lot nicer than freaking Walmart like they always get like with an attitude like they're like no you can't look at that I'm like girl okay but I'll wait like I'm gonna respect it okay um but no Lowe's is pretty chill like usually don't like I said like they don't mind at all when you open it um oh, it looks so freaking pretty I need a thumbnail I'm not even showing you I literally make these pencil videos like if you're with me <laughs> it's not like those you know they still have these teddy bear vines, you guys. They've been here for the longest period of time. Little money tree. Kangaroo fern. We got some golden potos on top. Um, these are from Costa Farm. For $20, right? And then they have the smaller versions for $15. And this is from another company. Elegant Accent. Low-key cute. Um, African violets. We got some variegated mini lipstick plants over here. Again, all the hanging baskets like this are for $20. Some of our small plants that we always in the big box stores, which are honestly still cute. But um, yeah, no, I always kill them. Ivies are spider mites. <laughs> I might try again since I, I like, I don't know. I don't know if I found the hack. <laughs> I just think I found a way to keep it at bay. You know what I'm saying? Um... More hanging baskets, air plants, some bonsais, really, really cute pots. Um, Scandapses, mentioned peperonias, some begonias, some ravens. Look at this. Air. These look so. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, they're for $10, though. Super duper cute. They got shingles plant. You guys, I ended up putting my shingles plant in a moss pole. This one looks like really good. Do y'all see this? These are for $20, which is a pretty good deal. We got some Bird of Paradise for $30. 
beautiful. We got some spilly philodendrons. Very underrated and I love these so freaking much. I would get one, but these are so big. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, like they're so massive for like such a good deal. Like I'm like debating if I should put it in the living room or in my bedroom. Like y'all, I'm like shoving plants everywhere now. <laughs> The only place I haven't shoved the plant is in the bathroom. <laughs> and that's only because I don't have any enough grow lights, but yeah, one of these days I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get a fern. I'm gonna try to get a fern and keep it alive in the bathroom. <laughs> um, we got some snake plants. $20. Honestly, Walmart's a lot cheaper for the same size, like $15. They're actually a lot bigger. But if you want one, like, really fast, you can just get it over here. Which, I mean, that's what I do. They're really, really cute, though. But Walmart always actually it's a really cute pattern. Love, love. I love sink plants. You, I always say that. I'm, I'm so annoying. I'm sorry. I just, I do. There's just so easy and forgiving. But I mean, I also get the hypo with the other plants. Like, you know, it's fun. It's like Pokemon. Even though I don't like Pokemon, but <laughs> my boyfriend gets mad whenever I say that. This is kind of cute. It's like a mini. I've never seen like a smaller one. I always seem like in the hangy baskets, but for $4.98, a fluffy rofa fern, like, should I try? I have a cute little greenhouse. Um, I can put it with my carnivorous plant. I don't know. That would be super cute, though. And then a fetonia and some moss. Oh, my God. Look at me. I'm so trendy. Talking about trends. Look at this. Live trends. These are so cute. They're, like, kind of dying. I don't know. They don't look so good, but... Um, they're super cute, these mini orchids. Super dark, super darks. Um, oh my god, look at these little arrangements. <gasps> these so cute with the little bird. For $18. And they have two air plants. This, this is not a bad deal. So like this one has two different kinds. And you got a cute little po um poly bear. <sighs> That's not what you call it. I mean so stupid. What do you call it? And I just said a bad word in my friendly channel. <laughs> I was gonna say teddy bear. Oh my god, why am I so dumb? <sighs> Polar bear. I'm the lady. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I need more coffee. Um, some dracanas, bamboos. Oh my god, there's so many of these. One time I got this for a dollar. They're, they're in the clearance section. And I got like five. But then I gave it to my grandma's friend because she liked it. So. But it was like a while back. But these are really cute. I always see them. I, I don't know. Like I, they have like um, a meaning, like a little. Rep like they say, like it brings luck or whatever. <laughs> and I mean, I needed that, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of cute. Like, I, I don't know. I would love it for the kitchen. The kitchen. The kitchen. Look at these beautiful orchids, and therefore, I don't see no price. Wait, hold on. Maybe it's in the pot. It's not on the tag. They're so pretty though. Okay, no precio. Oh, it's in the back? Wait. Oh, I saw, oh my god. <laughs> 2048. That's kind of cute. Super cute, they're so pretty. I love orchids, they're kind of cute. It's like a vibe. Look at these ponytail palm. Oh, okay. <laughs> this cute ponytail palm for $16. Adorbs. Oh my god, look at this Maria Singonium. Oh, these are so freaking pretty. Mine died, but. Because <laughs> like, I had a phase where like I wasn't watering my plants. And I killed a lot of them. More um, 2048 orchids. The white and the yellow, so I can see. But yeah, like, I killed a lot of my orchids. <laughs> Um, a lot of a lot of plants I had like they just went bye bye. Um, so yeah, but it's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. Kind of cute. A little pop coming up. And I believe these are for eighteen dollars. Oh shit, no. Sorry. Why am I saying so many bad words? Yo, it is the morning, and I am not a morning person at all. Dracaena for nine ninety eight. This will look so cute in a terracotta pot. I'm like low-key hiding because like I'm just so shy. <laughs> There's a lot of employees like you know organizing stuff. 
I'm a little shy. Um, look at this, a little, um, Romelia pineapple, I don't know. Um, <laughs> People get mad. I'm just like, yeah, you guys enjoy the moments. Okay, like, oh, yeah, yeah. is it for 15 for that or for 20? Hold on. I just love showing you guys the prices because, like, what's the point of going plant shopping if you don't even know how much it costs? $15 is just good. Look at this. I have mine, and where's mine? In the living room. A chunk of this is gonna sound so nasty but i gotta tell you because like i am so transparent a chunk of spit went to the wrong tube and i gotta cough so bad <laughs> but i'm like holding it another uh variegated mini lipstick plant i rarely saw the variegation it needs, like, needs more light what are them because i know this is that uh, like let me show y'all see i told you they have um some strawberry rex begonias my boyfriend's favorite. He wants to bury it in one, and so do I. So in spring, we're gonna do a lot of shopping and get a lot of plants from um, Etsy. Not right now though, because um, <laughs> we're in winter, and yeah, cold damage. Even though you can add a heat pack, I'm still scared. But talking about shipping though, you guys, I ordered something from Plantarena.com, and I was like so obsessed with it because they had a deal like a discount going on for 40% off. I placed my order. Three minutes later, I ended up regretting it. I was like, I need to save money, David, stop it. So I, I emailed them back to cancel it because I couldn't cancel it on the account. And I went to the fre frequently asked questions and they said they can't cancel. Well, they'll try their best to cancel it if you place your order within an hour, but they don't guarantee it, you know? And a little bit inside of me was like, I really do hope they can't cancel it so I can get my plans. <laughs> <laughs> and they haven't sent me an email back so i think i'm gonna get my plants i don't know it's already been like two or three days so yes i'm so excited look at those little baby um chinese money plants a ufo it's a paleo plant right them. pretty sure it's a paleo okay Okay, um, <laughs> she's kind of cute. They have so many fun stuff over here. And there's an another little station, but I, uh, I just love Urban Jungle. And they follow me back on Instagram, finally. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's because I love their pots and their plants. I'm always like annoying them on Instagram. Like, I'm always tagging them. Because if you guys are not following me on Instagram, I do a lot of Instagram reels of like plant shopping. So whenever I'm done filming for YouTube, I always go ahead and film for um, Instagram for like short videos. And whenever I do like, you know, Urban Jungle, I always tag them so people can go and follow them. That's their ad. And they finally said hi. <laughs> Wait, oh, this is from like, this was on clearance. It's a little, thank you for adding a drainage, but I finally got mine and it was, the potting mix on these succulents is insane. They retain moisture, like, are they trying to kill them? It's because the peat moss is pretty cheap, I don't even know. Red of the Calatheas, a beautiful Maranta. Um, bread of bird next spring. Dracaena, rubber tree. Let me show the seeds. Some of you guys find them boring, but I honestly, I kind of enjoy looking at the seeds. You can grow your own cactus. See, I knew this from a while back, but uh, I never tried it. Cause like the germination, where is it? Seven to 56 days to germinate. Girl, bye, no. <laughs> I mean, if you have the patience, 1000%, but I don't know. That's not for me. I also try to grow, um, what do you call it? Catnip? Because my cat. <laughs> and yeah. I don't see it. Look at these sunflowers, though. They're so pretty. I love petunias. These are petunias. 
because from um what do you call it garden ants are on youtube i think they call it what she, she always has like a uh, bubblegum petunia something like that i'm just obsessed with it like it looks so pretty in her in her house i love morning glories so it has a different name but these look like morning glories when i was little i used to always grow these in my garden <laughs> they're just so freaking cute literally it's like stuff explanatory they um they bloom in the morning <laughs> I'll show my other favorite see morning glories or moonflower oh my god this one's so freaking pretty I love the variegation on this one another one of my favorite is zinnias I love zinnias they're just so freaking pretty and very easy to look after I mean easy to look after what the hell um, they're pretty easy to grow outdoors Igluminias. so what the fancy pot is $35 and then um what the fancy pot so this one is 30 dollars so for five dollars more you can get this cute little flat stand super duper cute okay Devin needs a thumbnail i need a thumbnail a cute thumbnail Achoo. is that good you guys <gasps> look at this chair it's like a level <laughs> i think it's like 500 dollars Oh no. Oh my god. Isn't it cute though? Oh my god. Look at those peacefully blooms. Can y'all see them? But yes you guys, this is basically I'm gonna go to a different location. Um so if you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe. So you won't miss that feature upload. I love these freaking pots. These are like new pots. They're so cute. <laughs> Like, I, would, I love this color compared to the white. It just looks a lot better in this. It's super cute. Look at these, so cute. But yes, you guys, thank you so much for going for chatting with me. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, so I know I already did my outro, but I ended up getting that mixer that I was talking about. Making sure I pressed my brakes because like last time I didn't put it on park and the car was going back. <laughs> um, I got it. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's so freaking good. It has, I don't know, people say like, that doesn't kill it. But in my plant collection, I saw less spermites and my collective was drowning in them. And she was a really uncommon collective. It was my my magic star, trial star, or something like that. Um, but she wasn't doing so good. She has so many spermites. And I sprayed it. I don't know if you guys saw it. What video was it? I think it was plants that I'm killing or plants, something like that. And I was drowning a lot of my plants. I was just spraying them nonstop. I was like, but because like it works and it has no smell from what i know um <laughs> no welly doesn't burn it's just like a spray bottle with water that's literally how it feels and how it seems and i just spray my plant whenever i see um spider mite it doesn't kill many bugs though um so i do it, believe it it does kill spider mites but i think it's adult spider mites again there's different stages of spider mites which means you need to be consistent because if you just do it one time they will go away which you're seeing right now but the eggs will come back and like it's like you gotta you gotta keep a consistent schedule to eliminate it you know you gotta break the cycle so yes i'm gonna keep on spraying my stuff for a month because <laughs> i went to that bottle of cards oh my god my car is like really see-through ah! okay so yes you guys and that's basically it um i'm gonna go to a different lows, lows for tomorrow's print shopping video possibly i don't know when i'm gonna post it but i'm obsessed with it and for medibugs i like to use neem oil i noticed that neem oil does help with medibugs um but yes okay i'm gonna go and film another video but for today thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one um i really gotta put tents on these windows because like oh my god and yeah bye